Hello, friends from the comic book and manga world. My name is G, and I'm here to talk about the October 16th, yes, 16th, 2023 FOC. Uh, if you didn't already know, I work for Penguin Random House, so the titles that you'll see today are those that we can sell into the international market. And if, uh, aside from the YouTube channel that you're currently on, uh, obviously, uh, we're also on different social media platforms like Twitter X and Instagram and Facebook as well at Peerage International Comics. So definitely check us out on those platforms to get updated on some news and updates there. And feel free to comment down below on what you're picking up this week or for this FOC, I should say. And uh, to get go ahead and get started here, I'll oops, we'll take a look at my first pick. Now, I think at this point, everyone knows about Blue Lock because of how much of a phenomenon it has become. But I just wanted to point out that for this FOC, we have the Blue Lock Volume 1. This is the direct market exclusive cover, which is really cool. And so definitely don't want to miss out on this because, you know, <laughs> if you're like anything like me, I collect multiple uh, of, of the same titles just because of the different variants that you get for the covers so this is one of them for you to pick up so if you happen to not know the plot of blue block let's just say you have this mad coach who's like kind of insane who gathers all these soccer players together to compete in like a battle royale challenge in like a high-tech coliseum called blue luck and they fight it out and survive and the last person who out egos everyone and is left standing um will be part of like it's it will be like the next striker for japan because the whole point of this is for japan to produce um a world-renowned striker for the olympics so this is like a squid game meets world cup type of manga so again if you haven't if you haven't already looked into it i mean the anime is great reading this is great ah uh, you should do both <laughs> uh, this is one for you to uh, pick up with this exclusive cover and my other pick for this foc i have talked about this many times <laughs> So I have to talk about it again. This is The Dangerous Convenience Store. This is volume one by 945. And this is a yaoi, which I'm a huge fan of um, yaoi. And this one is about a convenience store worker who is adorably on this cover here. This will this is a Korean manhwa coming to English for the first time in this trade paperback edition. It'll be full colored. This convenience store part timer that you see, he works a graveyard shift, and because of that, he'll encounter some hoodlums, <laughs> like some sketchy people, mobsters at night, and he'll often get in trouble with these with this clientele. But we have one who's the scariest of them all, who happens to be also tall and hunky named uh, Gongwu who catches his attention and has a soft spot for this part-timer and is it a question of where will there be more between them and obviously of course there will be in uh, Yaoi so this is definitely my kind of um my, my kind of story so a definite pickup for me i highly recommend uh for you to um, read this as well so uh moving on i did want to go over some cover picks that i thought was really cool to take note of this week for this week's foc and first up we have daredevil issue number five or issue number three i should say this is the joshua casara variant so this run following chip sadarsky but we have saladin ahmad on on writing for this one and this cover stood out to me i don't know i just thought it was really beautiful and how you have where 
like in the concentric rings, you'll see that it's illustrated as radar vision in Daredevil's perspective, so, which is really cool. The way that like the the art goes in and out, like you'll see like. I don't know how to describe this, but this is really <laughs> this is really cool that you see you see that in 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 the in the rings, which is really neat. I just love this cover so much because it's just very beautifully well done by Kasara, and so I had to point it out. And then next up, I have the spone or spone spine. <laughs> Spine Tingling Spider-Man. This is issue number two. This is the Bjorn Barons variant. This is a one in 25. And as is typical of Barons, who really goes in on the the horror, um, the horror in his art, you have it here, which is very creepily um, drawn, as you see. Uh, Barons. I first like encountered him through Spawn and brilliant work done there and similarly uh, here on this cover. So definitely something to to spotlight because of how beautiful it is. Um, if you didn't know, Barons is a German artist and this one in particular, because it might be confusing, but the original Spine Tingling was on Marvel Unlimited as a webcomic and when the issue number zero came out it collected the digital and the issue number zero so the follow-up to that is this spine tingling news story uh, that came up as a number one and then we're continuing on the number two here so um so really big fan this is good for the spooky season so uh, definite pickup for me and next up, we have a new number one from Dark Horse. This is Mortal Terrors. This is cover A by Peter Berting. And uh, this one I picked up. I, I'm i such a huge fan of Dracula, any type of adaptation and so forth of it. And this is this is the same. This is something that I would be on the lines of what I would want to pick up and it will include characters that we are familiar with, like Jonathan Harker, Lucy, Mina, for instance. And in this story, all three of them live in like an underground London. They're vampires trying to keep the undead city safe, like the underground city safe, um, from the mortals who are above. And the mortals are... are <laughs> not the nicest, right, as humans tend to be, where they seek to give them life only to eventually kill them. So there's obviously a tussle between the mortals and the undead. And it's really about um, Jonathan and crew uh, trying to keep uh, the undead city safe uh, from, like, outside... Uh, outside villainy that comes through. Uh, so this is one to pick up. And yeah, so that's it for my cover picks for this week. And I'll always end on some sort of announcement. And if you didn't know, quality assurance in another world, anime is going to come out, hopefully if things don't get delayed or changed sometime next year, probably in the spring season. And I mentioned this here because the promotional video dropped and I highly recommend checking it out here. Maybe I should play a little bit of this so you can see, though you probably won't hear it. Um, but yeah, this is really cool. Uh, this is about uh, Nicola, who is a village girl. I don't know if you could hear the volume. <laughs> it's like blasting in my ear and like I can't hear myself talk. But anyway. <laughs> Uh, Nicola, who's a village girl living a quiet life in the countryside, but all of a sudden, one day, dragons show up and everything changes. And it's not just because of the dragons, because, like, yeah, that's kind of surprising. <laughs> one day you'll see dragons appear. But there's this man named um, Haga, 
who shows up to debug the situation. And she's like, what do you mean by debugging? Like, what's going on here? And he's part of this, like, um, an elite society called the Seekers created to address these maladies that are plaguing the, like, the usually peaceful world. And so everything that Nicola thought it thought was normal <laughs> about life what she thought was reality is starting to change and she starts questioning what what is this <laughs> like what about what is this elite group what is what is QA for instance like what are what's happening here um so if you want to find out more we do have the manga you'll see the volume one cover art on this slide um definitely check out the promotional video that you'll see here in more detail and the anime that's going to come out next year. So yeah, this is a uh, good for anyone who's like into action isekai fantasy series. So this one's for you. And oops. And as always, I I love doing these every week. And so we'll have another video next week for you to check out. And again, comment down below for anything that you're picking up, whether or not it's the same things that I will be, or if you have um, other titles. There are so many great titles that I couldn't talk about today. So uh, definitely comment down below. And yeah, uh, so that's it for today. Uh, bye, everyone. Come back next week.